Perfect Learning TV. How is feminist methodology applied in qualitative research? Let this video present to you a quick guide on the different contents and explanations about feminist methodology. This might already tell you on what feminist methodology is when applied to a research. So let's start. Of course, it is focused on women's perspective. It has to be conducted by, but not necessarily, by women alone, for the benefit of a woman and about women. Generally, feminist methodology in research provides new knowledge from a viewpoint that values women's experience, needs and perception of the social world. And to analyze this first, it is double dimension in a way that it can extract new knowledge and promotes protection of social change. Secondly, it includes feminism within the process to focus on the meanings women give to their world. Thirdly, diversity. Feminist methodology in research is interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary. It is based upon a systematically critical reflection on all disciplines, their agenda, and established findings. Therefore, these are the principles of feminist methodology in qualitative research. Women and gender is the focus of analysis, rejection of subject and object, the importance of consciousness raising, concerned with ethics, intends to empower women and change power relations and inequality. To give you examples, Yes, no, maybe the politics of consent under compulsory sex positivity. The woman who shouts coming to voice as a young urban female leader. Effective sense of belonging to the community and sense of well-being among women following forced relocation. Feminist perspectives in science. I knew what it was, the meaning of the delay in breast cancer diagnosis, life stories of women diagnosed with advanced breast cancer. The first wave feminism happened during the 19th and early 20th century, focusing on overturning legal inequalities of suffragist movement, which is about giving women the right to vote. Second wave feminism happened between 1960s to 1980s which tried to uproot the cultural inequalities, gender norms, and establishing the egalitarian or equal role of women in society. While the third wave feminism happened in early 1990s, which is just a continuation of the second wave and also as a response to its perceived failures. Like other qualitative research, the method of Feminist methodology in research is focused on people's own written or spoken words and observable behavior. Therefore, the methodology of light includes participant observation, in-depth interviews, group interviews, and content analysis. Many considered feminist research as a way of taking action in a way that it provides framework towards inclusion, participation, action, and social change and shared ownership of the research enabling participants to direct the research process. Here are some research ideas on how feminist methodology could be applied in education. First, examining how gender inequality is structured within system of school administration. Women in education in higher education scholarship. Finishing school in a feminist academy and gender differential in academic performance. To conclude, feminism bridges the distance between the researched and the researcher. It takes into account women's viewpoint as the base of the research. It aims at bringing changes and eliminating gender imbalances in the world. It is essential for furthering the goal of equitable social and economic development. Feminist methodology in research 
would like us to remember that without the combination of feminist research frameworks with social science research setting, women will continue to be left out of the development process. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Perfect Learning TV for more videos and updates.